When people think of eco homes and green buildings, they usually think of this. Micro renewables, solar systems and the like. But what really makes the house behind me interesting is the stuff that you can't see. And it's the stuff behind the scenes that make this house one of the most energy efficient in the UK. The house was designed to use 90% less energy than the average UK house. And with anticipated costs of only £75 a year on heating, that's pretty amazing. So how does the home achieve these incredible cuts? It's been designed using a methodology developed in Germany in the 1990s called Passive House. Based on applied building physics, Passive House uses passive energy gains from the sun, occupants' body heat, showering, cooking and lights for the majority of its heating needs. I'm now going to meet the owners of this house, Jeff and Kate Tunstall, to find out a bit more about how the project came about. So Kate, why did you choose to live in a passive house? We were really concerned about fuel bills um, in our current house. Oh, sorry, our, it's our previous house now. Um, we were spending um, about £200 a month on gas and electricity, um, which is quite a substantial amount. We're coming into retirement. Um, fuel bills are going to increase, our income as retired people will go down, so we want to address that. Early on January, a couple of years ago, we set off to um, Austria and we went and visited the two houses that were, it was minus two, minus four outside, inside they were warm, airy, comfortable. So it wasn't that we're looking for a passive house, it, it, it's that the passive house found us in a way because it fitted the bill. Super insulation means a lot of insulation and this house has certainly got it. In the loft space we're looking at half a metre of insulation. In a typical UK house you're looking at 275 millimetres. In the walls we have 300 millimetres of insulation. In a typical UK house with a cavity you'd be looking at around 100 millimetres. So that is what makes the difference. This house holds on to the heat. To make the insulation work, you need to minimise thermal bridging. So put simply, that's like wrapping a giant tea cosy or even a duvet around the house and trying to keep any gaps in the insulation to an absolute minimum. A passive house needs really high levels of air tightness. There's no point putting loads of insulation into a house if you've got a drafty structure and then all the heat is dumped outside. So in this house, the devil truly is in the detail. It's about detailing around junctions. It's about making sure your plaster goes on right and it's using lots of air tightness tape. Now they've got it so right in this building that it's actually gone 20 times better than current UK building regs. Passive house buildings always use a bit of kit called an MVHR system, which stands for Mechanical Ventilation with Heat Recovery. This is basically a box a bit like a boiler in size, with two fans and something called a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger helps to keep heat in the house by passing the stale air leaving the house over a honeycomb-like grid, which then heats up the fresh air coming into the house. In this way, heat is retained in the building and only about 10% of heat is lost from inside the building. Using the heat of the sun is a key part of passive house design and on most passive houses you'll find a lot of glazing on the south face because that really makes the most of passive solar gain. Now the people who have this house wanted a very large internal solar space which isn't usually found in passive house design. So to avoid any chance of overheating they've included these rather handsome external blinds. There's also a large overhang from the house that provides shading and in the summer they're going to be growing a vine to give them that cool, green, leafy feeling. All these five elements of Passive House design are then modelled using a software package. Now that enables designers to accurately predict what the energy performance of the house or building is going to be. The Passive House at Denby Dale is very special. It's the only Passive House in the UK to use traditional building construction methods using cavity wall. Now that means that this project can be a template for the whole of the construction industry. 
showing how you can design and build ultra low energy buildings using traditional construction methods and materials that you can get from the builder's merchant down the road. And the anticipated costs to heat the house are truly flabbergasting. The average annual heating bill for a house this size is £1,100. The Denbydale Passive House is expected to cost less than £75 a year to heat, with additional costs of around £100 for hot water per year. As well as being fantastic for your pocket, passive houses are obviously very good news for the planet. I went to visit Chris Herring at Green Building Store to discuss more about the impact that passive house can make in addressing climate change. Climate change is a major threat for, for mankind and in fact for all species really on Earth. Um, and it's in, in effect it's an impending catastrophe for all of us and I'm personally as a, as a father I'm very worried about the future for my own daughter and, and really for all future generations. So. It, Buildings in construction use account for at least 50% of all our emissions. So clearly if we can do something about buildings, this has a major effect on climate change. And Passive House gives us something we can do this with because we can get something like 90% reduction in emissions by building to the Passive House standard. And at the same time we have comfortable uh, and energy, energy efficient buildings. So at Green Building Store we believe that Passive House really should underpin our national building standards and can be used both for new build and also for refurbishment. This all sounds fantastic but what they actually like to live in. I had lunch with Jeff and Kate and found out what their experiences of living in a passive house have been so far. Well it's much the same as living in an ordinary house except everything is just slightly different. The, the comfort is, is the first thing that you, that, that you appreciate. The temperature changes ever so slowly uh, but the light and airiness is what we really like. And the technology is quite low tech so there's not an awful lot to do, we, we just live in it. Um, it is, as, as Jeff said, it's very comfortable to live in. This is all sounding too good to be true. Incredibly cheap to run, saving the planet and comfortable to live in. Surely there must be a catch. I asked Chris Herring and Bill Butcher at Green Building Store to answer some of the concerns that people raise about Passive House. So these Passive Houses, they're all rather technical, don't they cost a lot of money to build? The experience in Europe um, at first was around 20% more expensive to build, but over time with economies of scale it's about 5%. The mechanical ventilation system, it sounds all a bit complicated. We're not used to this in the UK, does it mean you can't open a window? Well, the ventilation system is designed to give consistent and good quality ventilation. So a passive house feels comfortable and fresh and with good air quality all the time. Of course, you can open the windows and in summer we all want to open the windows. We want to hear the birds singing, we want to be able to walk outside, whatever. So there's nothing to stop you opening the windows, but obviously in winter if you open the windows, you're letting heat out. And that's the same in any house. Passive House offers such a brilliant solution to fuel poverty and climate change. And the good news is that Passive House is beginning to really take off in the UK. As well as the Denby Dale Passive House, a number of Passive House projects are now either certified or in the pipeline, including private homes, social housing projects, schools, offices, training and community centres. Training in Passive House designed for building professionals is also becoming increasingly available. The Green Building Store recently launched its range of Passive House products to help facilitate the uptake of Passive House in the UK. Passive House is an idea whose time has come. Let's help it blossom. For more information on the Passive House movement in the UK, please visit the following websites. Let's go dancing in the